Active Campaign versus HubSpot. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be comparing Active Campaign with HubSpot and we will figure out that which one of these platform is better for you to use for your email marketing campaign. Uh, the link for both of these platform will be given in the description down below. You can just go ahead and get your free trial right now. So let's start the video. Uh, first, we have Active Campaign. What you have to do is just simply come to activecampaign.com and sign up for your free trial. Uh, the sign up process is completely easy. What you have to do is use just add your email address and you know set up a reasonable password again uh to download the active campaign the link will be given down in the description you can just go ahead and you know uh, sign up for free right now so i am right now on the dashboard for my active campaign this is what the dashboard of active campaign looks like um this is like completely a uh, new dashboard that you will get if you will sign up so you will see all of these different options right here for example this one is the option for getting started of course so to get started you will come right here on the getting started of course here you have to just you know complete the basic for your profile and uh, you will simply add the all of the information right here so these are the different you know features we get in active campaign first option is contact where of course you will add all the contacts uh, of course your email list will be created in the contact option so right here i can actually you know go ahead and add different tags for my different you know email marketing campaign so i will simply add any maybe tag one and then i can just go ahead and create another tag which can be like tag two so what you have to do is simply click on add tag when you click on add tag your new tag uh, will be added so you can see right here that two of these tags are now added to my ad tag option. Now I can just, you know, go ahead and, um, you know, add different contact and I can do automation with this option as well. So this is how we kind of like, you know, manage our contact well. And Active Campaign gives us a lot of, you know, cool features to kind of like go ahead and uh, manage our contact. Then we have uh, the email marketing uh, campaign option right here. So I would click on this email um, icon and you will be driven to the campaign section of active campaign where we can actually create different campaigns so this is the campaign option so in this you can see the option of campaigns content manager where you can actually manage your content uh whatever email marketing campaigns we will be doing we will be adding text we will be adding different photos and videos so the content that we add you can manage it right here then we have the managed template so when you create any email uh, marketing campaign you will create a campaign that actually kind of comes your template as well if you want to use that template later so you will be able to find it right here in the manage template option then we have manage variables in which you manage different variables for your campaign any campaign that you will be creating for example uh your message um variables and different variables for example your personalization name your personalization tag uh the tag we just created i can actually add it right here and then we have uh these different variables for example you know visual editor code editor and you can actually do a lot with your uh text and uh, you can do a lot with different variables so you get the option of these you know different formats and font family and font sizes are available you can add text video audio and you can add links and this is good thing about active campaign because active campaign has a lot of features for you so what happens is that when you are creating a campaign we go for a platform which allows us to add it a lot which allows us to customize our campaign the way we want to do it so that is a good thing about active campaign and that is why if you are looking for you know to sign up then you can just you know go ahead because the link is given in the description right down below so you can just you know just start with your active campaign right now um so these are the message variables i will simply come here and i will you know um edit all of these variables if i want to then we have the archive option of course where you will be able to find your archived email marketing campaigns if you want to use them you can just go ahead and do that so if i go to campaigns right above so you will see that they will actually give me the option to create my first campaign for um anything i want to of course any product any uh, business that i am doing i can just create my first email marketing campaign from this option right here so i will click on create your first campaign and i will be able to show you the different options we get while creating a email marketing campaign on active campaign so you have to just select the 
campaign type right here i am going with the standard one right so you have to give a name to your campaign let's call it test campaign perfect uh so this is going to be the name for my campaign and if this is the name only you will see this is not the official name for our campaign so i will simply click on next so the next option is select a list here we have to select the list for the subscribers or different list that you have added uh to your active campaign so what you have to do is simply click on the list that you want to select it will be selected and you can simply click on next once you do that then we will get the option of design so in design you will actually see these templates that you get now it depends on you that if you want to start from the scratch you will click on uh, start from scratch and you will be given a blank canvas to start from but there are different templates that you can actually choose from uh, so it depends on you that if you are selling a product or maybe a sign up for an event campaign then you can just you know select from these templates now personally i go for a template because then it becomes really easy for you to customize the template and it's created professionally so if you are a beginner and if you have no idea to how to you know start from the scratch then you can just simply go for a template and they're pretty good and they are all customizable you can customize the way you want to so they look actually pretty good so it depends on you if you want to go and start from the scratch you can just go ahead and do that but i am going for a template uh now my email marketing campaign that i am creating is a test run uh, so we can just you know go for this one sell a single product campaign yes uh, this one is super simple one so i will select this one so you have to just add the sender details because i have selected the template now uh, this is going to be my name email subject so i will simply click on continue so this is the canvas to create your own email campaign with active campaign you can see right here that we get the option of color right here uh, border and this is going to be the alignment the text size and this is the logo which i can add uh, from here like these are all customizable if i click on any of the boxes you will see this you know black box and this indicates that i can actually customize it you insert different options from here you can add text block image button video and line breaker spacers so you can add all of these different options to your campaign right here what you have to do is you simply select any of the box for example if i want to add an image uh so i will simply you know click right here on the image so it's a drag and drop you simply you know drag any of these blocks from here and you will add them to your email so this is how you create your email with active campaign so super easy very beginners friendly platform and when it comes to adding different uh you know options you can add text block image video and you can add spacers and rss feed social links to your email uh campaign so once you have you know edited it out uh, the way you want to you will add your product you will add your image right here in this campaign once you have done all of these you simply click on save and exit after you do that you can just simply you know then send your campaign to the list that we selected in the first place so this is super easy actually when it comes to sending you can schedule your email as well if you do not want to send it right now uh, so this is how you create a campaign with active campaign so once you have created your campaign you will be able to check it out right here uh, like this is the campaign campaign that we just created right the test one after that there is an option of automation you can do automations then we have uh, the option of deals where you will be able to check out all of the deals that you can do then conversations uh, then we have the option of list and uh, site where you can actually create your own landing page with your active campaign so these are the different options we get in um you know active campaign for example in the site you can add pages forms web personalization and site tracking as well um so if you have a site um then you can you know do the site tracking from here and then the last option is the inside option that we get on active campaign the inside option is right here uh, the report option which is uh, of course to get the reports when you will be creating your um email marketing campaigns when you will be creating your on site with active campaign so you also get the option of reports that will actually give you all the insights to your uh, campaigns and to your your site as well so these are the different options uh, that active campaign gives you to create this amazing hub of your own in which you can create your campaigns in which you can create your site and that is why i think active campaign um, is a pretty good platform when it comes 
to creating your email marketing campaigns and for creating your um, sites. Uh, so yeah, the link is given in the description for Active Campaign. Uh, go check it out right now. So let's go to HubSpot now and let's see that what are the different options we are going to get in HubSpot. So what you have to do is simply come to HubSpot.com and you will land on this website right here. And now to sign up for HubSpot is also uh, very easy. All you have to do is just sign up with your email address and set up a reasonable password. The link for HubSpot is also given in the description down below. You can just go ahead and create your free account right now with HubSpot. So this is the dashboard for HubSpot. I have signed up and this is the dashboard that you will get after the initial sign up. So these are the different options we are getting in HubSpot and they all have a drop down menu in which you will actually uh, get the more sub features of every feature. For example, content contact conversations marketing sales services automation and reports um so these are the different features we get in active campaign as well right uh, so we have the uh, contact option so if we click on the contact so in contact you will see the contact option of course in contact you will actually check out all the contact that you have added to your hubspot and then companies you can actually create different companies and each company will have its own contact so this is good for your you know uh, customization and for managing your contact and then we have the calls option in which you can do calls on hubspot as well and then activity feed where you will be able to check out the activity of different members that you have added to your hubspot create different uh, contact for one company after that we have the conversation option in which you get the option of inbox this is pretty good chat flow and templates are also given right here and then we have marketing of course in marketing you can just go ahead and create your own email marketing campaigns with hubspot so we get the option of ads email landing page social seo and campaigns these options are for the professional ones and then you can actually create a form as well then we have the option of sales in which you will get the option of deals task document meeting and playbook now if we talk about the sales then hubspot has better options in sales than active campaign and then we have service in services you will see the service hub and tickets and then automation of course uh, in automation you will be able to check out uh, different options Options. for example uh, the sequences and workflows and then a report option uh, is also available in hubspot we also have the option of reports in active campaign too analytic tool and dashboards will be shown here you can actually create more than one dashboard of course uh, your one dashboard will be for your marketing hub and then the other one can be for your sales hub so these are the different you know dashboards we get in hubspot so in marketing you will see the option of email when you click on email then you will get the option of create new email and we simply click on create email and it takes us to the uh you know content creator hub where we can actually customize our first email or any email marketing campaign that you want to create so i am going with a simple email marketing campaign let's select this one so this is where we create our own email uh, this is the dashboard or you know the window that we get to edit our email so you can see right here the content will be image text present dividers social videos and different layouts that you can actually select from and then in the design option you will be able to um you know add different designs for example templates textile buttons and dividers can be added from the design in the content you can actually add image and dividers and different layouts as well of course um so this is the kind of the template that i went with so you simply click on this one and then you add uh, your text if you want to for example i will simply click on edit element and i will be able to edit uh, the text i want to you will simply add the text right here once you do that you can actually add buttons and everything this is simple drag and drop so you simply drag something from here and you know you can just you know drop it to your um email right here so once you have done that you simply click on review and send option and then you can just simply you know start sending your email with hubspot the link to uh, create your free account with hubspot will be given in the description down below so once you have created your email campaign you will be able to see it right here uh this is the email campaign that we were just you know kind of uh looking into i just wanted to give you an idea that how you can actually create your email marketing campaign you will see the drafts right here scheduled sent and archived of course to create your own email marketing campaign make sure that uh you know you customize it the way you want to of course 
So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. I wanted to give you an overview about Active Campaign and HubSpot to help you figure out that which one of these platform is better for you to use for your email marketing campaign. The link for both of these platform, HubSpot.com and ActiveCampaign.com, will be given down uh, in the description, and you can just you know go ahead and start with your free trial right now. Uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.